Many enterprises may want users to use a corporate identity provider to log into Foundry. This enables Foundry users, groups, and more to be managed using already existing external systems. Whether you're just starting out or not, if you want to configure or set up SSO in Foundry, let me show you how. Here, I'm in Foundry Control Panel. To configure SSO, first, we'll want to go to Authentication section under Enrollment Settings. Here we can see a list of currently configured SSO providers. We can also see which ones are currently enabled, and it's also possible to manage and test each provider individually. Let me show you how to link to a new SSO provider in Foundry. For this, I'm assuming you're already familiar with the external provider you'd like to set up, so we'll be only going through the Foundry-specific steps. To get started, we just click Add Provider and then select a name. Now we are presented with the configuration page. First, let's manage the SAML setup. At the top here, you can have the SAML integration metadata. You can copy these values manually, but the, it's easiest just to download the file. The first step is to upload or input these values into your SSO provider. Next, you want to upload the identity provider metadata from your SSO provider here. Simply click the Browse button and then select the file from your computer. Here, we can configure which email domains Foundry should use this provider for. This is useful to provide users with a streamlined login experience, as Foundry will automatically only show providers that are valid for a user's email. The supported hosts option is an advanced setting. If your Foundry enrollment only has a single domain, the default setting should be fine. At the bottom, we have the attribute mapping. Here we can configure which user attributes in the SSO provider should be mapped to user attributes in Foundry. ID and username are required attributes, and in this case, their keys are name ID and name ID, respectively, in the SSO provider. Recommended attributes include email, first name, and last name. In our case, we're going to set up email. In our provider, email is simply referred to also as email. You can also add custom attributes. And extremely usefully, you can automatically import user groups from the identity provider. This allows you to leverage already existing groups within Foundry, enabling users to quickly onboard to whichever permissions they've already been granted to. Now the SAML is configured, we have two more options. Organization assignment, which is useful for enrollments of multiple Foundry organizations. However, if you only have one organization, the default will be fine. And finally, the option to enable the provider we just configured. It can be hard to be certain your SSO has been configured correctly. To preemptively avoid login issues, Foundry has the ability to test SAML config. Here is the prov a provider I configured earlier. This is both enabled and working. To create a test, I click the Test SAML button and then create a new test in the panel that appears on the right. After naming the test, I can ge I generate a unique link. I can send this link to a user who's having login issues or I can click the button myself, as I'm about to do now. This will open a new login window, just as pasting the link would do. I can then log in. And then we go back to the SAML testing page and we can see the login succeeded. We can see the steps it went through. And most importantly, we can see what attributes were sent and mapped by Foundry. At the top here, we can see attributes mapped into Foundry. These all look good, and usefully, you can see unmapped attributes. This can be useful when the SSO provider you're using's documentation is not super clear. Finally, if you get stuck, there is excellent documentation on configuring SSO in Foundry. In Control Panel, simply click the Help link in the bottom le left and it will take you to the public docs. Here, under Authentication, you can find an overview of how authentication works, how to get started, and, usefully, Step-by-step -step guides with screenshots on configuring Azure AD and Okta as SSO providers in Foundry. I hope you found this helpful and you now find it easier to set up SSO in Foundry.